Welcome back to Tabletop Glory. My name is Graham Johnson, and today we're going to be talking about an art thief. Words cannot express how frustrating it can be to see your hard work claimed by someone else. However, this user over on TikTok has gotten away with it for far too long, and it's about time someone brought it to light. I'd like to make one thing very clear. This user has luckily not taken anything from myself. However, toward the end, you'll see as I scroll through this, they have taken quite a lot from quite a few people. Now, the videos I'm going to be showing you that reference directly their TikTok video plus the original video from YouTube are direct and recent correlations, meaning these are things that have taken place recently on their TikTok channel. And they are using other people's artwork to promote themselves and to sell their own shitty products. Products that I suspect are possibly even drop shipped directly out of places like China. And that perhaps this person isn't even doing anything themselves, meaning that they are not selling a product that they have made. They are claiming that all of this work is done by them and that this is the quality of their work. And as you'll see by their website later on, their quality doesn't even come close to holding a candle to the geniuses that they steal from. As you can see, what this user does is they just take clips from wherever they feel like it and they crop it and speed it up and basically just slap some crappy music on top of it and claim it as their own. Here we can see 31,000 likes on the stolen one versus only 627 on the original. Also 267 comments versus 103. Their entire profile is filled with stolen artwork like this. On TikTok we have what's known as the creator program where you can actually earn money for views and likes and things like that through the app. This person is earning revenue on stolen artwork and even stolen artwork from some YouTube channels which are not large enough to generate their own revenue. He is making money on someone else's work who isn't even making money on their own work. This is an account with 5.2 million people following them and it's all stolen content to promote their own website which I'm pretty sure is entirely drop shipped items. If you're as upset about this as I am, there's a great way for us to report this and make sure that this gets taken down. However, I don't have enough time to explain that here, so if you want to go check this video out on my YouTube channel, the rest of this video will explain exactly how I would go about reporting these videos and the channel. So it's a bit strange how you have to report a video, as you used to be able to go in and basically say that you thought someone was pretending to be somebody else, or that there was a copyright infringement, they've kind of changed the way that that works now. If you claim that they're pretending to be somebody else, uh, you have to tag the profile that you think they're being, which only works for people that are on TikTok. So what happens if someone's copying somebody off TikTok, like in this case where someone's grabbing things from YouTube and posting it to their TikTok channel? Well, I'm going to show you how to do that right now, and it's actually pretty easy and pretty straightforward. Step number one, you're going to go to the video that you think is the stolen video, or in this case, we know is the stolen video, and you're going to go ahead and hit the share button, and then at the bottom of that page, somewhere along that bottom line, you're going to see the button that says report. Then we're going to want to scroll to the bottom. At the bottom of the list, you're going to see two options, intellectual property infringement and other. If you click property infringement, it's going to take you to this. This is where you want to go if you are the owner of the content that has been taken. This is how you formally tell TikTok, hey, I want you to take this down. Unfortunately, as a normal user and as someone who is just observing this and wanting to report it, this is not where the average person can go. We have to go into other. Once you click into other, you're going to be met with this page or a very similar looking page. Now you're going to be able to type out a little message and you're going to be able to include some screenshots that you can take or you can use the ones that I'll provide at the end of the video which will show a side by side between the original video and the stolen content video. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to type something very similar to this for your description or you can type it word for word. Basically, hey, 
I think this channel has stolen videos from YouTube, and these are multiple channels in which they have been stolen from. Now you're able to attach up to four attachments, so you could go and take screenshots of four other videos, or I recommend taking two screenshots from the stolen channel and two screenshots from the TikTok channel with very similar looking images so it's very easy for whoever is monitoring this stuff at TikTok to be able to tell, hey, this is a no-brainer, this is stolen content, we need to take it down. Now if you want to make things a little easier on yourself, you can go ahead and use the images I'm showing you on screen now. This is image number one and image number two. I've gone ahead and placed these side by side so you can tell which one is the stolen content and which one is the original content on the right. Hopefully this is going to make things a lot easier for whoever has to monitor this so it can get taken down quicker. Now hopefully they're smart enough to check the entire channel and we don't have to go through and report every single video. Uh, and I know that's going to be really, really daunting and time consuming but it's very important that we teach these people that they can't be getting away with things like this. Now obviously if you don't care about this sort of thing then you don't care and I'm not really sure how you've managed to make it to the end of the video if you don't care. Um, but if you don't, I'm sorry. I just feel it's very important to bring things like this to someone's attention. Especially considering, like I've said before in the video, this person is more than likely making money as well as selling what I presume are dropship products from China and, and are making probably quite a lot of money off of other people's work and in some cases are making more money or are just making money period from smaller channels that aren't making any money or are making very little money because of their subscriber count and the likes on that original video. This is kind of a really messed up thing to have going on and is really similar to when you're on YouTube and someone copyright strikes something on your channel and they don't own the rights to it. A really good example of this was when I started my first YouTube channel. Someone claimed to own my voice. They took recordings of my voice and they copyright striked my entire original channel into oblivion and YouTube actually banned my original first channel due to too many copyright violations as a direct result of people claiming my voice. And I know it was my voice because I didn't put any other audios. That original channel was just a blogging channel for me to talk to anybody who wanted to listen. And that channel got banned for copyright infringement, even though it was my voice. I know that's not our original content. My normal content is more hobby stuff, and it's me sharing miniature painting and things like that. So if you guys came here just for this video and that sort of thing interests you, maybe consider checking out the rest of my YouTube channel. In any case, Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you all learned something and hopefully we can start taking down some of these channels that are abusing the system and are just stealing content. In any case, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in the next one.